Today I'd like to do a video on my updated Urban EDC Backpack version 3.0. My EDC Backpack was actually the first video that I posted on my YouTube channel back in 2011. Around a year and a half later I posted an update to that one which was 2.0 and now almost three years later it's time for version 3.0. And as you can see it's a lot different than the first iteration mostly due to the new bag which I'm now using the VanQuest Trident 20 backpack which works really nicely for my modules due to the design of the main compartment area which has kind of a built-in shelving system. So there's a lot to cover in this video so let's just get right down to it. As always I've created a PDF that you could download by clicking the link in the description box below. The PDF serves as a companion to this video and has a very detailed description of all the items that are included in this version of the Urban EDC backpack. It has tables that talk about the item, the type of item, the weight of it, uh, the price of it, uh, why I chose to include it in there. So make sure you download this document. It'll help provide a little bit more details on all the items that are included. You could also click on the links here that take you directly to that item uh, to where you could actually purchase it at. For example, if I got it on Amazon, you'll show, uh, I'll show there up on Amazon. So make sure you check out the PDF document. Uh, it, I think it'll serve as a good aid uh, to this video. There's a lot of various compartments and pockets in this particular version of the EDC backpack. So to film this particular video we're going to do some on the tripod. We'll do a few off the tripod so we can get into some of the zippered areas and then in the main compartment area where I have most of my modules we'll do a breakaway and go on the tabletop so we could get a closer look at the items included in those modules. Let's start off first with all the exterior items. So right here on this top pocket area, you'll see I have the Rescue Me uh, attached to the pulley on this. So the Rescue Me is used for uh, cutting a seat belt using that little razor there. And then you have a little glass punch here. So uh, most likely this backpack will be sitting on the passenger side of my car and it'd be uh, quickly accessible. So the Rescue Me. And then on this uh, main compartment uh, zipper area, I have just a little key fob that was made by Custom Paracord Grations. It's in Seahawks colors. I really like the idea that Vertex uses for their backpacks where the main compartment area has a nice uh, large pulley on it and so I kind of did the same thing but with the VanQuest using this little uh, inexpensive key fob. So I'll check out custom paracord creations on that. Since the Trident 20 doesn't have any exterior pockets for holding a water bottle, I attach my water bottle on the outside. So this is actually an idea that was stolen from uh, Michael from VanQuest and I kind of call it the Michael Urn because the water bottle kind of looks like an urn. Uh, the water bottle is made by uh, Goyat Designs. It's a 32 ounce stainless steel water bottle uh, which works really well for any kind of a water purification tablet for example since most of those uh, require 32 ounces and it's attached using one of these little Grimlock hooks that you see here. So I just have that attached to the backpack itself and then you're able to just open that clip there uh, for taking off the water bottle when you need it. So uh, while it's at my you know desk at work I'll take it off and then when I need to you know carry it and I don't want to carry it with my hand I'll just attach it to the Grimlock hook. On the other side of the backpack, I have a few more additional items attached externally. Uh, so first I have just a carabiner. This is a black diamond carabiner. Uh, and I just use it for attaching items uh, randomly that are on the exterior portion of the backpack. I can move the carabiner up to different loops on the Trident 20. Uh, next, I like having uh, signaling devices readily available. So this is a Fox 40 whistle and it's attached to a retractable uh, ID uh, holder. So I can easily grab this even while I'm carrying the backpack and it extends out uh, to be able to use. So it works really well for me. Uh, so just the Fox 40 whistle there on the retractable uh, keychain loop. So uh, then lastly I have some police strength uh, pepper spray just for uh, urban commuting and I don't have to worry about this going through security checkpoint lines uh, as much as you would for other kind of uh, personal protection items. So just some uh, pepper spray readily available. In the back zipper area of the backpack I oftentimes store random pieces of paper throughout the day but I always have some maps with me. So here's a map of the state of Washington plus another map of the Seattle area and I have it in a Ziploc bag. I find that the paper maps have a little bit more detail than the ones that are completely waterproof and so that's why I go with this method. So just some maps back there and they could be paired with the compass. In the front small pocket area here I like to keep my notebook. So I like the moleskin notebook. It works really well for me. I've been using it for a long time now. This has kind of turned into my prepping journal slash you know YouTube video uh, project ideas. So uh, the moleskin one works really nice for me. I really like the size of it and the little uh, elastic belt that you have around it to keep it uh, secure. So just a notebook. In this medium sized compartment I store my office and tools which features the VanQuest EDC Maximizer Organizer. Let's take a look at the tabletop. I use the VanQuest EDC Maximizer Organizer as a tools slash office compartment. So let's just get right down to it. So in this front little pocket that we see here, I like to carry a little bit of cash. So preferably in smaller bills, I try to keep around $40 or so. Right now I just have a couple 20s. Uh, just always good to have cash on you. So let's open it up. 
So as you see, here is the office slash tool supplies. Now keep in mind, I work in software engineering, so some of the tools are geared more towards that. And what I wanted to do with this particular compartment or module is to treat it as more of a complementary module to the items that I already carry in my EDC. For example, instead of uh, duplicating a multi-tool or a flashlight, I want to have tools that will complement those. So this is going to be reflected in this particular module. So let's just go from uh, this side first, and then we'll move here. And we'll go uh, semi-quickly, but you have the PDF to look at it. So starting here on the left, uh, what I have here, this is uh, the Nebo Larry A-LED Pocket Work Flashlight. And it doesn't, it's not like a you know normal flashlight that you might see. Uh, so this one's actually a work one, so you're going to click it here. And it has a very bright light. It's very inexpensive, too. And the best part about it is that this little uh, uh, clip that you see here, the pocket clip, is magnetic. So it works really great as a, as a work light, for example, if you need to do something uh, on your automobile, for example, and need to uh, click that there, uh, it's going to provide you ample light. It's uh, really nice little inexpensive work flashlight. Uh, down over here, I just have a little Kingston uh, USB flash drive. I have a ton of these, and I think it's always good to have a uh, USB flash drive. This one is empty right now, and I, I like having empty flashlights too. So let's go over here. I just have some uh, tweezers. These are made by Tweezerman. These are the Tweezerman uh, mini uh, uh, tweezers, and they have a, a flat edge over there. I'm not going to open it up out of here. Uh, next, we have a stainless steel Sharpie. So a Sharpie, Sharpie marker. This one's the stainless steel version. Next. Uh, we have, this is made uh, by Zebra, this is the Zebra M701. So this is a mechanical pencil. It looks very similar to the Zebra F701, which is a ballpoint pen. Uh, I just really like uh, the Zebra uh, style of pens. Uh, they, they're, they, they look extremely nice and they're very affordable. And so I have that over here. Right here we have just a little six inch uh, clear ruler. This one's made by Westcott. It's very inexpensive, maybe around $2 or so, uh, just to provide a straight edge to be uh, to use uh, when needed. Also, if you want to do any kind of uh, small measurements. And it has both uh, imperial as well as metric. Let's go on the back over here. So I have a glasses cleaning cloth, also works good for the camera. I have a couple envelopes that you see here. Every once in a while, I just have to do a random mailing and it's always nice to have it. I also have a little roll of gaffer tape. I really like using gaffer tape instead of uh, duct tape or Gorilla duct tape because it doesn't leave that uh, residue. It's not as permanent as those kind of tapes are. Uh, and it works really well. It's kind of expensive, uh, but the roll will last you a little uh, a while. So uh, a little bit of gaffer tape as well as some stamps to go along with the envelope. Now let's move to the right-hand portion of the organizer. Starting here on the left webbing slot, we have the Weeha Microbit Precision Screwdriver. This is an awesome little screwdriver. It has various bits in here. You have various torque bits, as well as flatheads and Phillips. Comes with extremely handy, uh, especially for uh, computer tasks, and Weeha just makes awesome tools. So I highly recommend this one. Uh, next, this is another one of those items that complements my EDC. I always have a folding knife as part of my EDC, uh, but I don't often have uh, a precision cutting tool on my person, so I like having this one in the organizer. This one's a really nice one. It's uh, the NT Cutter Pro Anti-Lock Stainless Steel uh, Graphical Knife. It's for uh, precision cutting type tasks. Uh, every once in a while I'll need to do that. This definitely isn't TSA uh, safe, so you have to remove this if you're going to the airport, but I like having uh, that precision cutting capabilities. Uh, next, we have uh, my EDC backpack scissors, and these ones are really awesome. These are made by Ginger. These are the Ginger 5-inch uh, stainless steel craft scissors. They're extremely nice. Let me see if I could cut something really quick. It's hard to really show how, how nice they are just on camera. Uh, but you could do a man, it just cuts really, really well. These are very, very high quality. Again, the Ginger 5-inch craft scissors. Next, here's another one that complements the EDC. I always have uh, some kind of multi-tool on me, and rather than just have a duplicate of that in this uh, particular organizer, I want to have uh, similar capabilities, but slightly different. And this one is pretty awesome. Uh, this is made by Channel Lock. This is the Channel Lock Wide As Adjustable Wrench. So as you can see, it gets really, I mean, that's a, that's a really beefy wrench, as you see here, for such a small size. I think this is one, this is the six inch, ver six inch version of it. As you can see, it has your uh, measuring markers here as well. Uh, this is in imperial on inches. So you also have it in metric here on both side, on the on the back side. So a uh, both type of measurements, it goes very large, as you see here. It, it comes in handy for uh, when you really need that kind of task, when the multi-tool just won't cut it. So again, these are made by Channel Lock. 
continue on. So that's all as far as the webbing goes on this particular one. I like having zip ties on me. Uh, they have around seven to ten usually at a time. Uh, they just come in handy for various uh, repair type tasks. So some zip ties. I think that might be all in this particular organizer. So those are all the items that I carry in my tools and office module. I do keep a few additional items in this larger pocket area outside of the maximizer organizer. For the most part it's fairly clear, sometimes I'll put papers in here, maybe the iPad in this little uh, sleeve here, but I want to have some quick access to a few uh, first aid and trauma equipment items. Uh, so the first one is quick access to my CPR micro shield, it's a clear mouth barrier, a highly rated one and want to have quick access to that. And second for uh, more trauma for uh, urban related emergencies, there might be blood loss, I want to have quick access where seconds count uh, to a high quality tourniquet. I'll put the information on this particular tourniquet in the PDF document that you could download. So uh, quick access to this for any kind of trauma that might happen in an urban environment. And for the most part, the rest of this particular pocket is fairly clear, although it'll fill up throughout the day and I'll empty it at the end of the day. And that's about it for this medium sized pocket. Now let's go through the items in the side pocket. I like to refer to this one as my admin pocket, just quick access items that are used uh, fairly often. So we'll open it up, as you see it has that bright orange fabric on the inside. Uh, so right off here in this little lanyard I have just the Leatherman Bruiser uh, for opening up any kind of uh, bottles very quickly. So quick access to the Le Leatherman Bruiser. Uh, next we just have a mechanical pencil, like you see here this is made by Pentel, uh, my favorite mechanical pencil. Uh, over here we have a pen, this is the Zebra F701, previously reviewed, and I also have uh, one sharp here. So back here in these little uh, sleeves that you see here, uh, I like keeping my uh, cell phone always charged. Uh, so this is currently my favorite uh, small external battery. This is, uh, well it's semi-small. This is made by Anker. This is the Anker uh, Ultra Slim uh, second generation uh, charger. It's, it's very, very nice charger. As you can see, it's very thin. It's almost the, slightly wider than your average smartphone, uh, but very thin. So I really like that one. And then there's just the USB micro cable that comes with it for keeping my smartphones charged. And those are all the items that are included in my admin size pocket. Now let's go through all the items in this top pocket of the Trident 20. These are all items that I like having quick access to. So opening it up, I like having quick access to my earbuds. I'm not too selective on the earbuds that I use because I also oftentimes lose them or damage them. These are just some inexpensive uh, Panasonic ones in bright green so they're uh, highly visible. Uh, next for urban commuting, I think it's important to keep your hands clean so I like having my hand sanitizer right there. I'm not too selective again on the hand sanitizer as long as it's a alcohol based one. This particular one's from Target I think. Uh, next, we're using the Trident backpack, and I have some Trident gum in there. So just, uh, you know, keep fresh breath. It, it's uh, very helpful for everyone, not just yourself. <laughs> okay. uh, next, I like having access to fire at all times. So even though I do have uh, fire capabilities on, the, on my EDC on my person, I like having a Bic lighter in there, and it's in orange because that represents fire in my color of prepping video. And over here I have some quick access to some black nitrile gloves, kind of to go along with uh, for any kind of first aid emergencies, uh, maybe to use with the CPR shield and the tourniquet that you saw previously. Uh, so just some black nitrile gloves. And then uh, lastly I have uh, my business card holder in there, and I'll just keep uh, various business cards. These are ones specific to my YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, business card holder, just keep it right in there. And then for the most part, that's what's in there. Sometimes it changes. I might throw uh, the Altoids tin in there, maybe even a charging cable for a laptop. Uh, but for the most part, those are the items that reside in this top little pocket of the Trident 20. All right, so far we've gone through all the items that are stored externally on the backpack, and we've also gone through a few of the items that are stored in the smaller pocket areas of the Trident 20. Now it's time to get down to the good stuff, which is all stored in the main compartment area. Although I think this video is starting to run a little too long, so let's take a little pause, and we'll go to the bathroom, get some coffee, and then come back, because we're going to start going through all the items that are stored in this main compartment area, which consists largely of my modules, and they're all color-coordinated based off of the color of prepping videos, and a lot of good stuff in here. So I hope you guys are enjoying watching this video featuring my updated urban EDC backpack version 3.0. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section and let's continue on in part two to start going through the modules.